Hi, everybody. This is Jacob and Stella, and welcome to another episode of Online Boss. Today, we have online business coach Georgia Williams on our show. She is a super mom and a very successful online boss. Hi, Georgia. Thank you for coming on today. Thank you for having me, Jacob. God bless you guys. Thank you. So we're going to just get to the interview. We're going to ask you some questions. And if anybody's watching the live or the replay, feel free to ask us any questions. So tell us about uh, yourself, who is Georgia Williams? Well, as uh, Jacob said, I'm a mom of five. I live here in beautiful British Columbia, Kamloops, British Columbia, surrounded by beautiful mountains. Um, I'm a CEO, as you can see, I'm a coach, mentor, and online business owner. It's been quite an amazing journey since I started this business. Um, I used to have my own brick and mortar business beforehand. I'm in Toronto, Ontario. And now I'm living our dreams. We got our dream car. Um, we're living in a beautiful home, supporting my children. Um, and yeah, I'm. Uh, my background is Romani, and I kind of grew up in Toronto, grew up in the States too, with my mom and dad. Was my dad was my mom was American. But yeah, I love BC. I'm a BC girl for life now. <laughs> and that's awesome. who I am. Awesome. One of my best friends, her husband lives in Kamloops. So I didn't know you actually live in Kamloops. Uh, so I heard that it's a really beautiful place. It's, it's gorgeous here. Yeah. So, I was going to ask you if this online business is your first business, but you already answered that because you had a brick and mortar business before. So um, in comparison, which one do you prefer? Obviously the online <laughs> because there's no overhead. You don't have to pay bills and, and rent and you don't have to get up and go to the business every mm -hmm. morning. Um, even though I had my business in my, in the front of my apartment in Toronto, Ontario, but it was still like, I still ha had to, you know, go to trade shows and, and just always go on the go. It was very busy. And with this business, I don't have no overhead. I'm my own boss. I work around my hours. This business works around my life. You know, it, I don't evolve around the business. The business evolves around my life. And I could be with my children morning, day, night. Like right now, I'm just chilling in our backyard. And the money, <laughs> there's so much more. <laughs> this business, obviously, you know the commissions, Jacob. They're incredible. Like I, I can, I right. made two, three months worth of salary in one payday. So that's just one sale. Um, I've never seen any other business like that. And I could be there for my children. We're planning some trips, some road trips. Do whatever you want and uh, you have your freedom. You know what, another thing I would say real quick is the online world, you're open to billions, millions of people all around the world. With the yeah. offline world, you're secluded to that one little destination, that one little area that you're in. Yeah, that's, that's so wonderful you, that you say that. Looks like you already know a lot about business before you came across this opportunity. I think that explains why you just take your business like a storm, just like go and the first time I heard about you is you already successful. So um, I know that we all come from the beginning, but you just sound, looks like you come from, you started with someone, started from being successful. So uh, when you found out about this um, online system that we are using, did you have, have any hesitations or did you, um, have any doubts about it? How did you work past that? No, I, I never had any doubts. Why? Because when I first um, seen someone speaking about it, I knew the person who was speaking about it. That kind of made me feel, okay, mm. I seen something on, on Facebook about them talking about their business. So then when I watched a free workshop, I seen all the slides, they're going to be setting us up. What a, um, a sales funnel, they're going to be setting us up. What a website, they're going to be handling all the techie stuff. And there's products behind the system. There's everything. We don't got to do any of the sales. So I was like, wow. So right then and there, Jacob, I knew this business is incredible. I've seen, obviously, the testimonies of how much people was making. Uh, Remelin yeah. was on there. If you guys know Remelin, she gave her testimony yeah. two years ago, and she was crying. And I was like, my heart 
just, you know, got touched because, you know, I know what she was going through, even though I was not a nanny, she was a nanny and, and left her, her husband and baby in the Philippines and take care of other kids. And, you know, it was so sad for her that she would be reading other kids' stories and so she cared for that family. And she wasn't with her children. Now she's making three, four or five times the amount that her boss yeah, made yeah. In one month. And that was then, now she's making a lot more, but long story short, I could relate because I was constantly on the go and I wasn't with mm -hmm. my children um yeah. as much as i wanted to and yeah it just made me realize like this is this is real and the, my online my offline business people would call me like google would call me these very well-known companies would call me mm -hmm. to get my business online and they wanted thousands of dollars like do you know how wow. we talk about yeah do you know how the workshop talks about like it would cost 20 to thirty thousand to get us set up to where we are yeah. right now give it to us yeah. for nothing. It's true. It really does. It takes a lot of money to get you set up on the online world. And sometimes yeah. the businesses flop. So with this yeah. business, it's a proven system. Like it's not going to flop. It, we already know so many people are succeeding. It's like a franchise. Yeah. It's like Walmart or, you know, um, yeah. one of the yeah, big... Totally. Yeah, totally. I think Stella has the next question. But before she asks the question, I just want to comment that um, when I first when I first find out about this business system, it was actually created by somebody that I already knew. So when I saw the whole thing on Facebook, I was like, yeah, I, I know that whatever it was, he's doing something really smart online that we don't know about, but I'm, I was really curious. So then I watched the webinar, I was like, oh, these people, I feel to they're all just everyday people that in order, at the same time, I didn't know anything, but they're gonna train me to do everything so that's why i didn't have any um too much doubt i was just thinking that am i able to learn everything and do it but i'm so glad that i actually did it because this is so amazing so stella why don't you ask the next question my question is actually more of the mom lifestyle i know you have like such a beautiful kids and it's i have two myself I have to, and it's already take a lot of my time. And then you have double than mine <laughs> and you have your growing business. How do you manage your time? Like, uh, give me some tips. <laughs> um, first of all, I have a big 15 year old daughter. Now she Ooh. helps a lot. So right. okay, you guys, where your nationality come from, you guys are old school, right? Like our family, yeah. like grow up older and your girls help. And even the boys, mm. so, like, the way I brought my girl up was even having the time, like being an online business owner, I taught her to cook. I taught her about God. I taught her to be respectful. My daughter literally does everything for us. She, if, if I'm online, she'll bring me a cup of water. She'll bring me some food. All of a sudden she's like, mom, I'm making dinner. I'm like, you don't have to. She's like, I want to. <laughs> so it's like, my little girl is a little angel. And um, we just actually just work together. Like, we don't have to worry about that. We don't have enough time. So in fact, see, I got a lead. Okay. This is a perfect example. The fact that I just got that ding, that's sound I made. Yeah, from yeah. My so yeah. the business runs in the background. So once I got my winning ad up and I start advertising on YouTube or Facebook, the business runs for me in the background. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I do have one of my business partners helping me a lot. Angie, Angie Siegfried. I love her. I have a few of my business partners. So they will, you know, look at my business, make sure everything's running okay. And if something is important or I need to fill out some paperwork, they're like, Georgia, do this, Georgia, do that. So they help me a lot and I help them. Like they're they're having so much success. They have winning ads, they have buyers coming in, they have checks coming in. So they don't mind. They're helping their coach. Mm -hmm. and I'm helping them to gain so much success. And they don't have five kids. Like they, they have maybe an hour a day to look into it. Also, um, I just schedule around what we do. Like if Today I have uh, the elders coming from my church to help us clean out our garage because we're making it. Um, we're making it a gym, so there's still some things we needed to do. So, yeah. you know, I scheduled this, and I told the elders come after this. So, you know, this is just for fun. This isn't really businessy. It's like we're doing it for fun. But anything we just schedule it around. And yesterday we went for a drive in our new car, um, our new Escalade Cadillac Escalade. Oh, nice! Oh, <laughs> I saw it. It's so. I saw it. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> I'll show it. Guys, don't leave. I'll show it to you before. And yeah, yeah. Um, 
And yeah, that's pretty much it. You know what? I do a lot of things too at night, Stella. Like mm -hmm. when, the night? Go, when the kids wow. go to bed, that's when I really work on my yeah. yeah, I do that too. Yeah, and throughout the day, I just, you know, increments. I'll check on my business. I'll do a post maybe. Um, but the kids are always involved. If I'm on a Zoom with one of my business partners teaching them, because that's what we do, guys, whoever's viewing, we yeah. literally by the hand, we Zoom with you, we tell you where to click. We can even have remote control of your laptop at that very moment, mm -hmm. only when we're on Zoom. So we can click there, click there. If you're not sure, if you really want us hands on. Um, so my kids are like there. They're sitting on my lap. They're with me. It's always a fun ball game. Some of my business partners, when they first started, they're like, George, I'm sorry, the kids. I'm like, do you not see I have five kids? Leave the baby there. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> like, we're all family. We're family. That's, that's so nice. That's like you create a little, like, wonderful system that you have there. I think that's what working online should be. You have the full flexibility. You get to choose like uh, all the atten attention you give to each, each kid and all what your priority is. I think that's what an ideal online business should be. So do you schedule uh, a few hours of me time each, each day? Of course. Um, <laughs> I was talking about it on my page yesterday, uh, shopping in a superstore. I was getting the Escalade um, transferred and all the paperwork and everything. And then I was picking some food up and I was telling them how I have an appointment at 7.30 with Tim Begley. Because <laughs> I realized he gives oh, one-on-one. Yeah. Yeah, he does 30-second sessions. So that's our online business um, uh, trainer. He yeah. says fit. So I was saying, like, I already have a six-pack, but I'm shy. But I work on, I work out. I eat healthy. We, we um, you know, watch and listen to spiritual things. Like I really don't watch TV, I listen to a lot of podcasts. Mm -hmm. So my me time is when I get ready in the morning or I might exercise a little, like I might listen to um, a podcast of, you know, I love uh, Jake Ducey, Wayne Dyer, I love um, Les Paul, Grant Cardone. Um, right. I love all of these people, like Napoleon Hill, like I, I just listen and it's just so good for you. It's like the law of attraction, leaving you shall receive and it motivates you, they motivate you. So whoever is watching, definitely listen to something positive. The first 20 minutes when you wake up because your your mind is so awoken and it's like, that's when you yeah. have your right energy that day. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. I, I feel like I asked so many questions in a row. I feel like I should let Stella up to ask you some questions. <laughs> Um, so I, I know that, um, running, running a brick and mortar business also, uh, separate you from your family, right? Like you have to be physically there. And then now that you can combine your family time and then your, your business together, like you, you're actually living in it. Right. Um, so, uh, is there any, like, um, like, like some phase that you you are struggling and then you have to keep yourself up and then i just want to know how do you like keep motivate yourself because i know life is happening right it's not all always the like the beautiful kind of day every day you must have some challenges uh obviously so how do you motivate yourself yeah. like I dance, I hang out. I don't let nothing get to me. Yeah. If anybody knows me, I'm wild. I'm out there. Um, I'm Christian. Let's just say that. I won't drink. I won't do drugs. I won't do anything stupid. But, um, and I'm not going to knock those who drink and everything. Whatever. Drinks are fine. But I'm just saying I don't do anything stupid like drugs or go partying crazy or anything like that. But I am like, I, you know, I think my mother and father taught me that. Like, um, like the old school European background, like doesn't, even though they're, you know, they're old school and they're protective, like no matter what we went through, we would always have fun. Mm -hmm. And my father, I think I take a lot after my father. He was always joking and laughing and singing and, and dancing and, and bothering us. And so uh, I think I got that with my kids. Like no matter what we go through, I just put music on, I hang out, I chill. And I don't let nothing with me let the world like look at the COVID the things that's going on you know if you let yeah. the you know cave in on you it's you just become a person that it's not really you so I really just mm -hmm. don't get to me and as soon as I feel like I'm going back I right away I put my 
uh, Law of Attraction little podcast. I put my, I listen to Lewis Hose. Um, he always interviews like these most, um, like kind of what you're doing right now, Jacob, but he interviews people who talk about, you know, successes, law of attraction, you know, how to make your mind. And what I'm doing right now is I'm building a foundation too on the side, not this business, but I'm building a foundation to help people worldwide to sustain them. So I got to yeah. keep speaking with my financial advisor. We're going to talk about how we can like utilize everything so we can work with people you know, in different countries, because I know so many people, even some of my business partners, actually a lot of my business partners that just want to do volunteer work or, and they've already sponsored children in Africa or there's people in Australia. I have people all over that are, are very, um, you know, good hearted and they want to help. Mm -hmm. So they want to do like a non-profitable foundation and organization. So that really keeps me going in God, you know, honestly, it's God. And I just, I do a lot of Instead of like praying, like I learned something. Instead of praying, like please God help me. No, no, no. Help me. I, I thank God in advance. I say thank you for more for this and for that and for this. And it all comes writing things down on a book. yeah. Yeah, writing it down and then you got something to say, Diego? <laughs> well, it's called it's called it's called setting goals. Guys, I just talked to her about it this morning that she's writing down her goals, and it's becoming true. And I was sharing that with her. I, the first time I was writing down my goal, I got double the results than the first time I, I met my goal. So that, that was like, really wonderful. Um, you got such a beautiful heart. So how do you, what does success look like in your opinion? How do you measure it? How do I measure success? Yeah. Well, it's about really and truly, it's about your growth. It's about you. Success is about your growth, your mindset, where you are, what you was, where you was at and where you are now, you know, every day, just go a little bit more towards succeeding. People think like, oh, million dollars, this success, this and that success, this and that. It's all about like people are billionaires and God forbid they commit suicide. So oh, yeah. that, that's not success. Success is you being happy and you being yeah. happy. And as soon as you learn to be happy and whole where you are and believe Yay. like that you're going to receive it and, and act like you are. Like I want to, I want to say a little bit of a tip of advice for everyone. And I'm not going to say go spend a whole bunch of money on anything you want. But you know how you go into a store and you're like, I can't afford that. Maybe I'll get it when I when I make a couple sales in the business. I start to say, No, I really want that. I'm going to get that now because I know it's coming. And I'm going to. And then I look at things and I'm like, Yeah, when I get like this, I'll I'll be fit or I'll I'll cut my hair or I'll get the the Cadillac essay. Then I'm like, no, no, no. We're going to get it now. And everything just comes together to make it happen. Mm -hmm. so work on yourself. Um, mm -hmm. Make it happen and believe that you're already going to receive it and take steps towards it and act like you're a billionaire. Act like a boss. <laughs> act like yeah. an, a CEO and watch how it comes. Yeah. Yeah. I will. That's so, that's so right. Um, because I, I heard a podcast before somebody saying that, you know, um, for us to get into a business because we, we want to make more money. That's like kind of the basic uh, reason so that we don't struggle with bills. But if getting to a business becomes successful, your only, the only motivation is money and you're going to run out of motivation really quick because you're going to have to love what you do. If you don't, you don't have passion. You're not going to be happy with it. So I, to I totally agree. Well, you just tell us that's so wonderful. Do you have any, because you're on online business coach, do you have any, how do you keep your business partner, the ones that you're coaching, keep them motivated? Um, how do I keep them motivated? I guess I share all my successes in my, in my chat. <laughs> and I'm, I'm really excited and I, and I don't share it to uh, put in anybody's face. I'm really excited and they're my family and they're excited for me. Like they literally, they'll, they'll hear me on in the chat and then they'll private message me. And they'll say, Georgia, I can't believe it. Like they're all growing with me. And I'm not the only successful one in there. And that's what I told mm -hmm. them all. Each and every one of you is our leaders. I'm just because I'm the only coach right now doesn't mean that you're not a coach, that you're not a leader, that you're not a mentor. All of you are leaders. Lead by yeah. example. And, um, you know, the only thing sometimes that happens is just people get busy with their jobs or I find that a lot people get lost in the routine. Like they'll start the business and they just get lost and they're so excited for a moment and they get yeah. lost 
with their dream and they're like, oh, work and family and cooking and cleaning and what is it? And I get them out of that. It's like, wake up. <laughs> what are you doing? Why did you start this? <laughs> Why did you start this? Where is your dream? And they're like, Georgia, I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> like, I wake them up and it doesn't matter how beneath they are for me because, you know, if they're uh, someone else's mentor in my team, mentee in my team, I will still pull them up. Uh, everybody is my family. It doesn't matter how uh, far they are from me in distance to who's mentoring them. Because I'm the coach of so many people who are mentoring others. Um, I love everyone and they're so important to me. And they see that love. And yeah. they see that family. Yeah, they see that, that family love. And uh, that's what keeps drawing them back. They're like, I want that. I love that. Our energy in this community is just, you can't, you can't, you don't want anything else. You just want to be with peace, happiness, joy, you know, all of the good stuff. Yes. Thank you so much. So Georgia, she is uh, like a symbol for our system. That's what our system stands for. Everybody help everybody, just everyday people helping each other. So again, this is Georgia Williams, a business coach from our community. And thank you everybody for tuning in today. And I will see you guys again uh, next Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching today. Bye for now. Thanks for having me.